Hi guys, it's James from Height and Vet Clinic. Today I'm talking about some of the common things we see in spring summer, particularly in the garden shed or in the garden that cause issue for pets. The classic one for us would be the garden shed's been left open, there's fertilizer, there's poisons, there's paints, there's other random things which God knows what they are in the old garden shed. This time of year a lot of people are starting to get in their gardening side of things, so again I'll run you through a couple of things that we see that cause problems. So out in the garden specifically you've got things like bees and wasps or spiders. The pet goes and gets bitten and they get a mild reaction which might be a bit of puffiness on the face and you've also seen those cute pictures on the internet of the dogs all swollen up. Um, that's often an anaphylactic reaction. Those pets if we see them we instigate treatment and it reduces the, the pet's you know, reaction or the puffiness and stuff like that. If the pet's bitten in the airways, that can actually cause a serious problem and obviously they may struggle to breathe. So if you're all worrying your pet's bitten by a bee or a wasp particularly, pop them straight in and we'll obviously instigate some treatment. When we're looking at other things, again probably more in the garden shed, you're looking for your things like your rat baits, your snail baits um, and those type of things, slug pellets. Some of those are quite palatable to the pets, particularly dogs, and they'll end up eating them. End result being then we see them later sick with symptoms. Snail bait particularly can be quite nasty, obviously convulsions and so forth. Rat bait particularly, the pets eat the rat bait, sometimes the owners are oblivious. We fast forward down the track and the pets start to get blood in the urine, bleeding their joints or the tummy and so forth. Um, so again if you're worried, bring it in, it's safe to err on caution, we can make the pet be sick if it's indicated and obviously purge the stomach. Other times it's then things to look out for that we're monitoring for bloods and stuff like that. Other things would be chemicals in the garden shed, and whether it be Zero, Roundup, or those type of things, some of those can be palatable to your pets, so just be mindful that if your pet gets into those, definitely give us a call and it will bring the pets in. We have to be mindful too for the poor cats, because they particularly can be sensitive, some of the products are called nephrotoxicity or kidney failure or renal damage. So again, if your cat licks something he shouldn't have, antifreeze is another one from the old garden shed, give us a call straight away and we'll, we'll look after your pet. The other thing would be, out and about in the garden. So if you're doing some planting trees and so forth, there are some bulbs which can potentially be dangerous as well. So be mindful of that as well. You've got things like your rhododendrons. Also things like lilies for cats. Lilies particularly, they can cause kidney failure, renal failure for a cat. So if you're worried, just avoid that. Bring your pet straight back you know, down to us. The other thing again, as it gets painfully hotter going into summer would be the pets left in the car. And it happens all too easy. And I think from that side of things, if you're at all worried and you've left your pet in the car, bring them straight in. We can initiate first aid treatment if they're quite sick. And some pets will die being locked in the car. And it happens in the blink of an eye. So making sure the window's left down or tying your pet out you know, under a tree or outside the shop in the shade might be a safer option. But if you've got any questions about, I guess, concerns you have about your garden shed or what your pet may have eaten, give us a call. If it's an emergency, give us a call. Bring your pet in and we'll obviously look after your pet and go from there. Take care guys and look after the spring and summer ahead. Bye.